All right, valence shell electron pair repulsion. The third molecule we're going to look at is water, H2O. And just like we did with methane and ammonia, we're going to start out by looking at the electronic configuration, really so we can get the number of valence electron shells and create the Lewis structure. So we know that oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, 6 valence electrons. Hydrogen is 1s1, 1 valence electron. And the Lewis structure I've got indicated right here. Ah, so whereas methane had octet rule was satisfied, it had four bonds around it, uh, no lone pairs, ammonia, NH3, octet rule was satisfied. It had three hydrogens bonded to it and one lone pair, now water. Octet rule is satisfied, but you have two hydrogens bonded to it and two lone pairs right there. What does this do to the electron structure and the molecular structure? Well, the electron structure doesn't change. It is still a tetrahedron. So uh, just like we saw before, oops, and I gotta put my methane back together again. The electron geometry is like it is in methane, tetrahedral. But because of those two lone pairs, it is as though we take our methane molecule and remove two of the hydrogens and just looking at it as forgetting what the actual atoms are. This is the geometry of it. Ah, uh -huh. It absolutely does affect the geometry. We've got the molecular geometry is now bent. Why is it bent? Well, because it's really two legs, pretty much two legs of that tetrahedron. The other two legs are lone pairs. And that's what's going on. Now, what does it really look like? This is what the molecular geometry would look like. It's got two hydrogens attached to it, to essential oxygen. And you know and I know that there's two pairs coming off of here, going like that. So that's valence shell electron pair remulsion model in a nutshell.